build this, you need one of these. It's a one inch coupler, one inch threaded deal thingy. Goes on the end of a one inch pipe and it lets you thread it. That is so you can attach a whole thing to this. You also need, obviously, a one inch schedule 40 PVC pipe. Schedule 40 is actually very important because if you get schedule 80, the inside diameter is going to be too the inside di diameter is going to be too small and it, and it would require a lot more work. You also need a, ske a, a three and a quarter inch schedule 40. Is that a schedule 40? Huh. Guess it is schedule 40. I thought I wanted schedule 80. Oh well. It will work. Anyways, three and a quarter inch schedule 40. That is a. This is a conduit piping. It's supposed to be a little bit thicker. Yeah, it's actually supposed to be a little bit thicker than normal. Yeah, actually, this will be just fine. Okay. So, and you need a, this is half an inch, this is also supposed to be schedule, no, okay, this is half an inch schedule 40 conduit piping, um, there's no labels on it, not sure why, but whatever, and you need this, this is what you use to make the plug, see it is half an what is this? It's a uh, PEX tubing, half an inch. Um, there's no schedule on it or anything. I found this next to the copper tubing. I think I think it's for air conditioners or something. Come on, focus, focus. There we are. See, that's yeah, that's what you need right there. It's a little bit flexible which is not going to be a problem, you're only going to be using maybe an inch of it. So it being flexible isn't that big of a deal. Now of all the pipes I mentioned, you will probably need a combined total of two feet of it. I bought five feet of them, of each pipe. Okay, five feet. It's, there's ten bucks for all of this, which is not that bad of a price. And as far as making the piston and the, um, as far as making the paintball loader goes, that's about it. You might, you might want to get this. What this is, is a, what the hell was this? I, when I was at the hardware store, I saw that they had some clip-on pipes. This, this part right here, you just force and, and it clips onto a one inch pipe. This part was threaded. I took a um, took a drill bit and I removed all the threading, so that allows that. Um, that that's just how I connect the hopper for the paintballs. You don't necessarily need it there. It does help though. And this is the barrel. Now a let's see, I think a three and a quarter inch. Yeah, a three and a quarter inch schedule 80 pipe, PVC pipe, would work very nicely for a paintball barrel. Um, what I have here is actually something a little bit special I, I made. Inside is some sort of thick plastic flexible PVC pipe that I shoved into this slightly bigger pipe and I made an adapter that will fit onto mine. I'm not going to run into. I'm not going to go into detail on how I made this, just because I made it two years ago and I don't remember exactly. But you know, it fits in here and it turns like that, and it locks it. And I can make it lock in very nicely. Soon when I find this, which took me some time to make. There it is. Found it. That. See that? Yeah. That just fits right in there. And that makes it so I can't. Do that. Take that. Out. I can do that. Yay! All right. Now we 
Now I've gone through a, an overview of what I have, overview of the parts list, and what I'm going to show you how to make, and what I'm going to show you not how to make. It's time to get started. Oh yeah, one more thing you might need for your lathe. Vice grips. Vice grips and then some way to tap to attach your drill to your table or stabilizer or something, but vice grips are actually going to be what's doing the cutting on the pipe. Yes, they actually will cut the pipe very nicely. Show you later.